Day three of asking Boltrix to use only T5 towers that have the word balloon in it, like balloon incineration, the balloon solver, balloon exclusion zone, the anti-balloon, etc. And the only other tier five upgrades that have the word balloon in them are the balloon crush on the bomb and the balloon master alchemist on the alchemist. So these six upgrades we can use, but can we win a game with them? Let's find out. And it looks like our opponent is gonna be starting off with the boat. As our first palm power tower. I kind of over ecoed here, but I think we still should be able to go for Agent Jericho. Yes, wasn't even pixel perfect, by the way. But we got him before the start of round two. That is what mainly matters. Also, I might even send space greens here, actually. Just because we still need to go for the powerful darts before round three space yellows. Uh, because if we don't have that, then we're going to struggle tremendously. But we are on a pretty long map. I think the nice is like the second longest map in the game. I could be wrong about that. Ooh, one red balloon got through. F's in the chat for that. But you guys already know the main objective for today's video is to win a game with using balloon upgrades. And I'm not going to say like using only balloon upgrades because this is a BTD6, guys. So it's much harder to like have those like wacky combinations work without using anything else. So for example, with this strategy, we have the Dartling Gunner, the Alchemist, and the Super Monkey. So we have the Balloon Exclusion Zone, the Balloon Master Alchemist, and also the anti-balloon. So I'm going to prioritize going for all three of those upgrades, but at the same time, I'm not only going to be going for those upgrades, I'm going to have to go for other things because if I don't go for other upgrades, then uh, your boy's going to struggle. Now, I wonder what our opponent's doing. He's been space equaling pretty much this entire game. So is he going for like bow farms during these other game rounds? I feel like he should be equaling because both farms got a huge nerf kind of sort of recently. It's like really hard to go for them during these earlier game rounds. So I honestly just don't think this is play for him, but whatever, I guess we stole his money. He never stole our cash unless he stole at literally the exact same time. Oh, he did. And just like this time, you can't even like you couldn't even hear his ability going off. We must have did it then at the same exact freaking time. Round seven is here, though. Let's get this in the young man grouped yellows here if he sends us grouped yellows i might burn a tower boost but like i said they've been sending space eco this entire time they went for a merchantman yeah see first merchantman though on round seven that was not the play oh my god he's about to be struggling here too i could have balloon boosted those yellows too probably would have gotten a tower boost out of him but it's okay oh and he just stole our money okay i forgot to use my level three ability that's all good though round nine is here let's get sending him space zebras and we ultimately have got to go for the HRP over on our side, which I'm definitely over ecoing, okay? So I'm going to chill with the Space Zebras, get back to hitting Space Blacks maybe, because uh, I still don't have anywhere near the amount of money that I do need to go for the HRP. He had a Tower Boost. Okay, so we'll take that. He has to go for Reactor over on his side. So hopefully, like, he's just, like, more worried about his defenses, not focus over on our side. And uh, we're going to be able to greet here a little bit. Let's go for that now. Good, good, good. Round 12 is here. Space rainbows it is. Now, I'm probably going to pre-buy this alchemist just to really, really be safe here because I feel like we have a pretty big eco lead on this guy right now currently. Uh, let's use our level 3 ability too here. Is he like completely done ecoing? Oh, he has the NG. Okay, so because of the balloon adjustment, he's actually going to be able to make a decent amount of money. But guys, his strategy has two water towers, boat and sub. I just now realized that. So he's extremely limited, obviously, since there's not too much water on this map. I mean, most of it's ice. So obviously there's not that much water on this map, but there he goes with the balloon trap. So at least he's going to be making a decent amount of money with that. I'm trying not to anti-stall these rounds as hard. I know I have my Darling all the way at the front of the map, which kind of sort of doesn't make sense. But at the same time, I believe this is the best Darling Gunner spot um, on this map. So... That's why we have it here. But 1,500 eco for a long map like this. Yeah, that's not very good. Um, but we are still alive. He like hasn't even rushed us or anything. He's been sending like a little bit of eco here and there. But again, he's just focusing on going for the merchantman. Now, the adjustment is starting to get a little bit more brutal for us. So I'm thinking we should either go for the Berserker Brew or finally cross path this HRP since we have yet to do either or of those things. Uh, but he could rush us with a fortified Moab here. Now, if he does rush us, the good thing about this map... It's so long, we have so much time to react to rushes. Now, mid-game, it, it can get a little scarier during the mid-game rounds because you can cause, like, a massive regrow farm and then end up killing yourself, you know? Because the balloons just simply have a lot of time to regrow, so... It's definitely possible, but 
If you just eco properly, you should be able to go for like the proper defenses during the mid game rounds. Let's go for that uh, Berserker Brew here finally because round 19 adjustment is in fact pretty brutal. I did go for the Laser Shock and focus firing on the Startling Gunner as well. I would like to even go for the Stronger Stim here because I know round 21 balloon adjustment is crazy, crazy OP at times. So I'll probably go for that here now. Here comes the round 20 AI mob. I have no intentions of sending him anything, by the way. None. Because he could just boat pull BFBs. But he's going to send us a fortified BFB here. Okay. I'm absolutely fine with that. Let's make sure that we can defend here. Let's set our Alchemist to strong here. I'm going to cross path that with the middle path here too as well. It's still his cash. Should we go for a Super Monkey? I feel like going for a Super Monkey isn't that bad of an idea. So yeah. Let's do that. Because then we'll go for the knockback on that. That will actually help us with stalling it. Fortified ZOMG, by the way. Okay, so that kind of sucks to see. But we can defend against this, okay? Trust, trust, trust. Um, we might need to go for like a rocket storm or something here. Wait, tower boost. We're good here. Okay, we are absolutely vibing. Let's go for that knockback once again. Holy crap, was he able to send that ZOMG pretty quickly though? We don't have that much eco, guys. Like, how do we defend against this? We could tech terror. Tech terror is pretty expensive, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to y'all for a second, but we might need to do that. So, I'm not going to damage the ZOMG all that much, though, right now. Because I don't want to pop it down to the BFB layers, right? So, I'll go for this, though. More down here. Okay, the Alchemist is probably going to buff it, but that's okay. Okay, so we can sell this for about $9,000, by the way. So, yeah, we're definitely going to have to tech terror this. Uh, should we tower boost? Mm, I'm not sure. Probably. Okay, so I have to completely stop eco in here, too, for a second. Okay, let's tower boost. Rocket storm. Okay, we're good here. We're good here. So, I'm going to sell this. And then tech terror the insides here now. Good. Okay, a defend is a defend. He's probably going to send us DDTs here. We're good. Okay. Wow, that's... I don't know. I, I couldn't remember if the Tech Terror would insta-kill all the fortified BFBs or if they had to be fortified Moabs. So I was kind of scared there. I'm not going to lie, but we ended up defending. That is all that freaking matters. Our eco game is so trash. Okay, I'm going to try to eco then here with group Zebras just to get our money game up a little bit, okay? And I completely forgot about this too. I could have went for a rubber to gold um, during the earlier game rounds. Is it even worth it at this point? I mean, it doesn't hurt, I guess. No, 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 no. It's not worth it. It's already round 28, guys. It's not worth it. It's going to be really, really hard, though, to get up all these upgrades because um, they're quite expensive, right? So if anything, I'll try to at least get two. So I'll save the anti-balloon on the Super Monkey probably for last. Uh, but I definitely would like to go for the Balloon Exclusion Zone and also the Balloon Master Alchemist, okay? And he's currently sending us Zico, so that tells me that I'm probably okay to continue on sending Nico here. Um, he did just stop, though. Okay, so I guess you never know. He might rush us. He might not. I'm going to actually sell you because I would rather have a more pixel-perfect spot. It honestly probably is the same exact spot, but whatever. Round 30 is here. Yeah, let, let's just stop Nico in here, then. Yeah, he's going to set us a fortified. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, so how, how do we defend against this, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I mean, look at the AI even right here. This is crazy. This is actually insane. Holy crap. Thank God we have the Alchemist. Um, What are we going to have to go for? I'm thinking MAD. Then we sell MAD. Or no, no, no. We go for Blue Exclusion Zone here. Okay? Because it is Alk buffed, right? Well, let me, let me go for another Alchemist buff on it. Just to make sure this is being constantly Alk buffed. And then we pop that down, and then we go for a BMA to pop down the DDTs. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to have to probably go for a few Dark Knights with the DDTs underneath. So we're, we're doing decent damage here. Do not worry. Okay, he's sending us another one here, though. This is for the sake of content, ladies and gentlemen. Do not worry. Let's Tower Boost now, though. Okay, we're about to pop off the lair. Do not worry. Pop those, please. Yes. Okay, sell you. BMA. Good. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Hey, we defended there. We we defended, ladies and gentlemen. That that's what matters. 
We can't defend against this next one. He's dead to DDTs, okay? So, uh, I'm just going to all out him here. It's pretty unfortunate, but uh, the fact that we were able to defend with the Balloon Exclusion Zone right there and also the Balloon Master Alchemist, I count that as a W. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to use the other upgrades now in this next game that we didn't use in the first game. So, I'll catch y'all there. And it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with the NG as their first pop and power tower. Whereas we instead, we got the good old bomb shooter. We actually probably should send a few space blues here. Because I would like to go for a round one biker bones if that is in fact possible. Which I don't see why not. And there we go. Got him up. Good, good, good. I'm actually going to continue on sending space deco here. Because I'm thinking we're going to need the cluster bomb at least if we want to be able to defend against space yellows, just like in the last game. So like, we kind of have to play a little bit more conservatively, if that makes sense, during these earlier game rounds. And then once we have the proper upgrades, we can get back to maxi queen for group balloons. But this time around, we're running with the bomb mortar glue strategy, since we still need to use the balloon crush, the balloon incineration, and also the balloon solver. So if possible, I would like to incorporate every single one of those upgrades. I wasn't able to incorporate the anti-balloon in the last game. I do apologize. It's just such an expensive upgrade. By the way, he is balloon boosting space yellows at me. What in the world? I mean, after we go for the cluster bomb, I, I knew it would be absolutely fine. So not sure what he was thinking with that. He just now went for Smudge Catazilli as his hero. But I did have to disconnect a few games here and there because I needed like a decent map for the strategy because like the strategy, it it's pretty whack here, right? But I still think at the same time, we can make it work because we can decamel with having the mortar. Also, if our opponent happens to be aggressive on like round 20 or round 22, perhaps, we can go for the balloon solver, I'm thinking. By the way, I'm pretty sure that we need the heavy bombs here, which is like really unfortunate. So I think after like one more income boost we'll go for that or wait do we do we we're almost fully defending here almost doesn't count though you already know your boy still max egoed anyway like i literally did not save up any money for this upgrade okay but i definitely i definitely need to now get space blacks right so i'm gonna play it safe just go for that and we should be chilling now i feel like it's gonna be really hard to incorporate the balloon incineration specifically because i feel like that tier 5 upgrade is just pretty underwhelming unfortunately in battles too Balloon Crush is absolutely OP. We don't have the best BAD damage, though. That's the one kind of bad thing. We're probably going to have to spam the heck out of Moab Assassins and just hope for the best against the BAD. If that ever even gets sent our way. We might not even get to that point, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. The nice thing about the Cluster Bomb is that although it is pretty expensive during the earlier game rounds, it really is good against round 9 Space Zebras. It's honestly pretty good up until round 12 we might need a double cluster in order to defend oh we got a tower boost out of him as well we will take that any day of the week you know what i'm not even gonna go for a double cluster because instead i'm gonna just go for this bernie stuff here oh sinking already oh wait oh my god he's balloon boosting he balloon boosted purples at me i don't think i need to i don't think i need to tower boost this right i don't think so yeah dude cluster bomb's crazy Cluster Bomb is crazy, guys. Holy crap. Okay, let me go for this. Signal Flare. Rapid Reload. I'm going to sell you because I don't like the position of that. Round 12 is here. Okay, the only bad thing is that I'm anti-stolen. I don't want to actually do that. So I'm going to retarget that Mortar, and we should hopefully not pop these balloons as quickly. He had a Tower Boost again. Bro, he's going to he's gonna all out us, right? He might. So I'm just going to get ready for that just to be safe. Actually, no, wait. He just did go for the Necromancer over on his side. So we might be then in the clear. He's sending us Ceramics, though. Are we fine against this? Um, He's balloon boosting those. I think we're good here. Don't, don't die there. Do not die there. I might be dead. I'm dead. All right, so we're in the next game. And this is really unfortunate because I had to go for a decamo mortar so early on because our opponent's hero is Highwayman Jericho. Balloon adjustment started on round six, aka camo balloons existed. So that was pretty unfortunate stuff. But at least we can greed here in terms of sending space zebras. We got a tower boost out of our opponent as well. Forced the more glaze over on his side. So I guess we'll take that. Now let's go for the rapid reload here. And let's start preparing our next cluster bomb as well. Just probably go for a 000 bomb right now. And he's got the sub in order to decamo. So fair play. Well done with that. 
I, I guess double cluster cannot defend. Well, they were balloon boosted um, ceramics in the last game. I should have just tower boosted. Like, I don't know why I wait until last second. That was really dumb of me. But our eco is going to be extremely low, but at least he's also using an eco strategy. Oh, wait, we got to make sure that we have like money on hand or wait, it would sell this bomb actually because that's our cheapest tower or oh, wait, it's the freaking this is technically it's 2k. This is a little bit more than our decamo mortar. Okay, so I, I think I probably should upgrade this uh, bomb right here a little bit so that when he does use his level three ability, it hopefully will sell this. But we are popping the balloons right as I come out the map. So is he, though, and I guess he's using a pure eco strategy. Oh, we're fine here, by the way. We're absolutely fine. Do not worry. I'm surprised that he did that. But I'm still going to go for a double cluster anyway. He's going to send us this. Okay, so we go for this. We're good here. We're good here. Trust, trust, trust. I hope. Might have to go for, like, some in the back of the map. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. That was pretty scary stuff, but a defend is a defend. Now, he might re-rush us here, though, so we got to watch out for that. Um, actually, I probably should rush him, right? Yeah, because he's kind of greeting like crazy, so yeah, let's rush him with the fortified Moab here. He definitely will not like this, because he only has a single ballistic as of right now. He's going to have to tower boost that, or else he's dead. Tower boost, or you're dead. Yep, okay. Mm, maybe even with the tower boost, he's dead. We'll see here. Pot down the fortified Rams, and he's good. Okay, so we'll take another tower boost. He's down two tower boosts, so that's really ideal for us. I'm just going to keep this bomb in the back of the map, too, because this could be our future balloon crush. Um, and this positioning I actually really like. So I probably should get to Ecoing as well uh, with pink balloons here. I'm probably going to have to go for a balloon impact, right? Yeah, for the adjustment and stuff. Wait, but I also... Oh, no. Oh, no. I forget which cross path's better for mob maulers. Um, I'm going to have to stop Ecoing here for just a second. Because round 21 AI, again, when balloon adjustment is a thing, is actually really tough. And he started equal with Zebras, bro. I have to send him something, dude. Are you kidding me? He's greeting out of his absolute freaking mind right now. Fortified BFB it is then. I, I mean, I can't believe that he's equaling with that. That's crazy. Of course, he can just misdirect it. Guys, I'm so stupid. Trust, we defend this here with a tower boost. Yeah, maybe maybe didn't need a tower boost, but I was I was pretty scared right there. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was very, very scared. I gotta start ecoing with zebras here too. Oh, he's got ice. Okay, so boomer sub ice. Yeah, that's a commonly used strategy for sure. He has ice for DDTs. Uh, for DDTs for us, we can just go for a super glue, okay? Now we don't really have enough money for a super glue as of right now, but we can go for some mob assassins, use those abilities, and that should be able to pop down. Uh, those ddts for us so maybe i want my decamo all the way at the front of the map now to instantly decamo those ddts for us he's eagling with zebras again guys like this is crazy should i send him a single ddt maybe because like that that is crazy i have to bro does he have enough money for it he might not he might hit the first right he can freaking misdirect that that's so stupid oh my goodness okay we're fine here though right yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Wait, he has to worry about that. Okay, he popped that DDT down. Well done. We might need to go for a super glue here, by the way. So we have to watch out for that. I'll pretty much have to sell everything. So that's not good. Dude, this guy's confidence is like driving me nuts. Like he's been ecoing with this. Wait, oh God. We're good here. We're good here. No, 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 no. Go for this back here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Set the target back over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Holy crap, was that scary. I know we, we need to go for Balloon Crush, but Balloon Crush is simply too expensive. So that's why I did not do that. He's gonna send us an unfortified BAD and Balloon Boosted immediately. Okay, so this is where we spam these and then we do double damage okay one more income boost good 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 okay so let's let's oh wait double damage now okay we're good here let's go for more i know i'm just like kind of spamming these and then we're gonna have super glue 
But then, I don't know, like, what else. Uh, I want Balloon Crush, though. Super Glue, we can sell for, what, 24,000? Okay, so, we're good here, trust. Um, I'll probably have to sell... Wait, we're good here. I'm gonna be able to use a few of these in a second. Okay, we super glued those. Good, good, good. I'm gonna sell you. I don't like the position of that. I'll sell this into a Balloon Crush. So, we should be able to do that here very, very soon. Let me sell you now. Good. Okay, got Balloon Crush. Got Balloon Crush. Should be able to solve all of that, right? Maybe go for a Balloon Solver as well. Okay. It's a Balloon Solver after one more income boost. All right. We're, we're so screwed, guys. <laughs> we're so screwed. It's not even funny. It's not even funny how screwed we are. Um, But, uh, yeah. like, Because, like, this is good cleanup, right? But, like, if you have Balloon Crush, then you kind of don't need this. So maybe I should have went for Balloon Cineration instead. He's struggling to AI, though. He is, in fact, and he's been ecoing this entire time. So uh, if he died to AI, that would be so funny. But I think what I need to do here is send him an unfortified BAD and then a fortified BAD, okay? So I'm just going to sell two of you so we have more money. Let's send that now. It's round 34, guys. So it's going to be very hard for him to defend against this. He's going to have to first strike micro. Let's balloon boost that immediately as well. He's already going for two first strikes. You're going to have to go for a lot more than that, my friend. And we have defenses to be able to defend against this. Yep, tower boost. DDT counter. That's what I was waiting for. Balloon solver in the back of the map, too. There, there's nothing you can do. There's actually... Can I can I afford balloon generation 40k? Probably not, then. Um, <laughs> If I sell everything, maybe. Let's see. Almost, boys. Almost. Oh, wait, wait. No, we're going to be able to afford it. Just, like, give me, like, one more income boost. Okay, one more after that, and then we'll have all the upgrades that we needed. Oh, wait. Let me sell Cluster. Go for that. Good. Got Blue Incineration. Let's go, baby. We went for all the upgrades that we needed. Oh, he's so dead. Oh, wait. Double damaged. Okay. Aren't they supposed to defortify DDTs? Oh, I think it does. Oh, yeah, it definitely did. It definitely did right there. <laughs> Holy crap. I cannot believe that we ended up winning that game. Like, we were down so bad. I sent him a BFB, misdirected it. DDT misdirected that. Completely forgot about that. But we managed to pull through with the W. GG's only. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where I got boosted Agent Jericho and this happened. Yes, we used the Ultra Boost all the way to times five, the permanent brew. And the Homeland Defense, the buff Agent Jericho. It was insane. Go check it out.